picture a drive, a routine drive into Bozeman, whether it's for grocery shopping or avoiding the traffic of 7th Avenue here, just close to where I am standing right now. You may have seen these, these pop-up bergs of campers. And for those that are living inside of them, they tell me, while many didn't want to go on camera, that it's because they have nowhere left to go. It's not just, it's a larger problem. This is a nationwide problem. This isn't just a Bozeman problem. A corner of a parking lot or a side road away from main drags. That's where you might find a dozen or so campers and tents at each of those sites. To Bozeman Community Resource Officer Marek Ziegler, it's a seemingly growing issue that's always been there. A partner at HRDC is out there um, with me. We make contact with them and we make sure they're in contact with the the right services. We are under a court jurisdiction which falls under the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. A couple years ago the city of Boise were um, citing uh, homeless people that were camping in city parks on city streets. And the decision came down is you're not going to be allowed to cite homeless people um, or criminalize homelessness if you have no other alternative to offer them. And for some he says They've been there a long time. Anything from um, a few years to, I've been a Bozeman resident most of my life. I think it's a mixture of a lot of things. Me personally, I think it's a lot of the economy, the housing, uh, COVID. Spiking rent, increasing unemployment, and as in August, the median price for a single family home climbing to around $706,500, bringing to light a misconception Ziegler and his partner are trying to clear up. I can tell you firsthand, um, a good amount of them are working, not only working, but working two, three jobs. And there are families, and we have kids out there as well. So they work alongside organizations like Volunteers of America, the Human Resources Development Council, and medical centers from across the area for the same reason. But the issue is still there, at times, parked on the roadside. We're aware of the situation. We understand their concerns, because they're all of our concerns. Currently, there's no magic answer or magic solution to it. It's a story that I will be exploring in the weeks to come in an upcoming series detailing and looking into what first caused these camping bergs and the experiences of the lives of those living within them. And we want to hear from you. Message us on our Facebook page attached to this story, as well as message us on kbzk.com and our email. For now in Bozeman, Cody Boyer, MTN News.